Hello everyone, Ems here with you today from my crowded Thailand streets, uh, streets of Bangkok. It's actually right in the middle of the city, I guess, as far as I'm concerned. It's pretty crazy warm and uh, very crowded out here, as you can tell by the sound of it. So I just arrived here yesterday. Uh, it was around 2 a.m. From southern China to here, it took four hours plane ride. It wasn't as hard as I was thinking because as I arrived at the airport, my hotel had a service ride for us. So there was a certain area that I found that uh, they could pick us up from there under, you know, they just show the title of the hotel and if you just book your room from that hotel, that particular place, they will find you or you, uh, they will find you and they will tell you that they have a service around a certain time that they can pick you up from there to their uh, place. So that was a easy one because before I come here, uh, I didn't have a chance to check how to use a taxi, whether there's a, you know, uh, a, an Uber, a DD, or a, I heard there's a Grab, or uh, any other ways to go to the hotel I'm going to stay because it was too late. I know that there was not going to be a metro. If you, can, uh, if you probably come earlier than, you know, 2 to 3 a.m., probably even 1 a.m., so if you come around 1.30 till, I think earlier than 1.30 a.m., if you arrive to here, then you will probably have a chance to, you know, use a metro or other services. So far, uh, I used metro, uh, a bike ride, and that's all, you know. I mean, so far I'm just familiar with uh, not so much. I, I haven't used buses and they didn't tell me if there is any other. In other words, uh, if your plane arrived, to the airport later than 1.32 a.m., then you probably have to use your hotel service or uh, a taxi. That's the best as you can do. Other than that, uh, my first impression about the city, it's way more crowd crowded than where I'm coming from in Ningbo, southern China. And uh, it's very hot and humid here. I'm like sweating right now. Well, in the, uh, that being said, it feels kind of relaxed and I think uh, there's not so much of a pollution or some problems like that. So it feels like, you know, it feels easy to breathe in, breathe out. I find it easier than even Hong Kong, you know. Some areas of the metro line and the city structure kind of reminds me of Hong Kong. But that being said, I don't think this is as crazy as Hong Kong or Shanghai. It's not so, so crowded, but it is still crowded. This area, you know, Bangkok has a lot of suburbs, apparently, especially where I'm coming from around the hotel area is uh, it, it, it kind of got that feeling with, uh, you know, industrial areas or, you know, mechanicals, repair shops and such. So. Coming here from there wasn't as uh, complicated as I was thinking because first time when I woke up right in the morning, it was around 8 a.m. So I kind of walked out around 9, 9.30 a.m. And I talked to the uh, hotel counselor, hotel concierge, and she didn't give me any ex additional info or any info that I find necessary, by the way. What she was doing, she was trying to sell some of the hotel's own services or packages that they offer to us as tourists or foreigners. And most of those things were so expensive. Most of the offers that they were showing in their booklet was super expensive. I realized that's a kind of a money trap, so I didn't want to go buy any of that. Instead, I walked out of the hotel and look around, try to find some people maybe can speak English. I'm playing just like a dice game here. I'm going by my senses or following my intuition, let's say. And I found somebody who could speak English, who understood what I, what I wanted to say. I said, hey, uh, I'm new to here. I wanted to go to Bangkok. Please help me. How am I going to get there? My hotel did not give me any information I needed. 
instead they were trying to show some different directions so i was lucky that he found uh, a bike service way more cheaper than a taxi ride or if you don't know where the hell you are you don't have a bus you don't have anything that's like a lifesaver and it was super cheap by the way it was like 50 thai baht thai baht i don't know how to say it properly i'm sorry and as a result i ended up um, at the subway finding where i wanted to come i think sometimes you better just get out of the comfort zone and go by what you really want to that made sense for me in a place that I have no idea where to go. You know, comparing to China, there are still more variety of people here, more foreigners and more English speakers. You know, that's still a plus for a foreigner who wants to come and visit this country because you may not know what's going on. You may not know where are you going and people will be helpful. One of the major differences that I realized other than language and the culture, people also look different. They don't look like Chinese. In China, we don't tip people. Over here, people expect that a lot. And uh, because probably of the living standards, they won't give you the right information until you get some money or you know you pay some tips. Currency exchange offices. So here's my first mistake. So the very first time I found a currency exchange office, I exchanged my money right away. Don't do this because I haven't had a chance to check online the differences difference between Chinese Yuan and Thai Baht. As I just came out of the airport, I had no chance to look on my cell phone and I did not have a SIM card because in Thailand you have to have a SIM card. Your phone won't work otherwise. If you want a cellular data, if you want you know internet uh, or phone call overseas you need to have a sim card here but before i just did not have any of that so i was just uh, passing by the, the currency office the first one i saw i just walked in right uh, i just walked right into it whether it's us dollar canadian dollar australian you know uh, british no matter where you're coming from or europe you need to know the differences in the ex differences in exchange right away, right before you come here. That's my first uh, advice. The second of all is, and uh, the second thing is, uh, there is a nice 4G SIM cards that you can buy it for a week, for a month, I think even for six months, and and it goes so on. Because I came here for a short period of time, I did not need any of that, so I had to you know, easiest and the cheapest service, which I didn't even buy for phone calls because I don't need to phone call overseas. I don't need to phone call to China or any other country right now. I can still use Wi-Fi and I'm good with that for a couple of days.
Hello. I'm with my friend Graves. I know him for a while. Welcome to Bangkok. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Finally, I'm here. I just made it, made to see him in like a very quick amount of time. We just uh, text to each other and bam, right here. So having a good time. Finally, so nice yeah. to see you. Nice. So, um, maybe you tell me about Bangkok because I'm just this is my first, second day almost. So, what do you think about how is life here? And you know, a lot of other things, as you know, better than all of us as a person living here. Fun. <laughs> uh, Braves is a musician. He's a guitar player. He's been playing music probably how long? How long? For Braves. I did it. How long have you been playing music? From nine. 25 years? More than. 30. 41. 40. 41. He was in now and 51. 51 year old. I played the guitar when I, when I was only 9 years old. Last year. 9 years old? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So, how is life in Bangkok? What do you think? It is really hot. It's hot? <laughs> <laughs> it is hot. Very hot and humid every day. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Oh yeah, it is hot. Like the first day when I came, I was... It can kill you every day. <laughs> Do you like people in Bangkok? Mm -hmm. Do you think everyone is friendly here? Because some people told me it's like people are very warm and friendly here. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's Bangkok and Thai people is friendly for every... I took a lot of like, footages here and there in Bangkok. So I love the uh, Golden Buddha Temple. Really? No, the temples. Temples? Big temples. Historical areas. Big temple, that is the, the King Palace that we have visited. King Palace? Yeah, that, that. yeah. You said that, that you send the picture that said. That's, that's, that's from that's the, big, the biggest okay. temple of Bangkok and Thailand. Oh, okay. Because of that, it's a main palace of the kings, every king of Thailand. It has been almost beautiful and almost architecture. So it's a, it's a historic area. And more history about that temple. Palace. Um, Very nice and more beautiful. Okay, that's cool. I actually like that area and I like, I was almost having a uh, boat ride by the canal, mm. but I cancelled that. It is really dirty in canal. Be careful. Yeah, they charge a lot of <laughs> Sorry money. Sorry about my country and my capital. We <laughs> 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 have problem about this many 10 years ago. I think it's more than 50 and 60 years ago. 60 years <laughs> ago? Before that, it's very clear. Yeah. Oh my god, six years ago? 60, 60 years, three days. Same as this day. <laughs> Sorry that I told you. <laughs> it's alright, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Is it always like hot like this? Is it, like, is it usually hot or is it like this period of time, this season? Humid. Humid. No, is it the season of this season that is very hot? I think in Thailand, is, is it all, have only season to hot. Really hot <laughs> and the hottest. <laughs> no any, no another. Really hot, really hot, the hottest. <laughs> you know, which area would you recommend me to see as a newcomer here? Like, where would you tell me like go there and see? In this area is really, really nice. Yes, far from here is all outside. This thing no cool. But oh. Bangkok is not small, right? Uh, I think it's uh, no, not think it's uh, approximately about it's a fifty kilometer dimension. Anyway, not south, east, west. Fifty kilometers. Okay. And if you need to cross this way to this way, you 
we meet many problems about traffic. <laughs> in the morning, in the evening, after traffic. Every, yeah, traffic, more traffic. You know, the bike ride was so crazy. This guy, I told him that, uh, can you get me here in 10 minutes? And he d he did it even shorter than 10 minutes, and he was going in every little corner, every yeah, little area. Yeah. It was crazy. I took it on the GoPro. <laughs> it was so crazy. Yeah, because of me, he. He look at you. This is you are not Thai. Yeah, I can make you my <laughs> make this so the Thai money, make this way for more money <laughs> and more chat money from you. <laughs> thai people are like very yeah, sorry, good. Sorry, I'm sorry about my my people. <laughs> no, I don't care. Not only you, me too. <laughs> some sometimes and some areas I don't know the way. Okay. I need. I I, I tell him this. I want to go this way. No, only a two box. Oh, then this is to here, here to here. Oh, yeah. Okay. He write this. Oh, 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 oh. Hundred bucks. <laughs> hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Exactly. <laughs> it took hundred bucks. Do you bike? Do you also bike here? Do you like biking? No, no. No? You're not a biker? No. Come on, you're a rock and roll guy. How come? Never because of in Thailand, it's really dangerous for bicycle. You don't like it? I like bicycle, but. In Thailand, is no good for right. I see. Many areas are dangerous because of Thai divers. No good on any road, any street. Any yeah, road. they go from anywhere. There's like there's no strict rules. I don't think even police. They don't care you. Ten minutes, even less than that. Wow. Thank you, bro. If you small one on the road, they don't care. Yeah, I'm bigger than taco. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. What they care about? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they care about money. Mm, maybe. So people bargain a lot here in Thailand. Mm. Crazy. Mm. Like one of the biggest shopping places, and there are bars. You just ask for some price. Mm. Look, three hundred. Don't worry, two hundred. No, I'll give you 180. How about 150? You must just know something about Thailand because of some group of people that make money from tourists and more charging money from you. Oh, okay. Everything is pretty much knockoff. Ooh, knockoff slayer. It's amazing. Can I check it out? <laughs> This is tourist from Europe or USA or Canadian or anywhere from Europe. As in, he, they thought that you have more money. <laughs> <laughs> I can make money from this guy. <laughs> Something. I thought it. Okay, this is heavy from this is okay, 100, 500, 10,000. I think it's everywhere around the world. It's the same man. It's everywhere. No difference. Not only Thailand. My last day here, actually my last night, I'm about to go to airport in a couple hours. I am done here, actually. In two, three days, approximately three days, 
I had good amount of experience and saw a lot of other places. Not so many historic places, but a lot of city side. And what's what's like? What kind of life is happening around the city? So I think I saw enough for now. Goodbye, Bangkok.